Hey guys, we've all at some point faced a situation when a certain website does not open due to geographical location. And I'm sure you already guessed what we are going to talk about today, of course, it's a VPN. Today on our IT Reviews channel we are reviewing the free version of Turbo VPN for Windows, iOS devices, Android devices and Mac computers. It is better known as an application for Android users, but in this video we will mainly talk about the features for Windows. I am using version 10 Pro to evaluate the desktop version on this VPN. We will evaluate the application according to several criteria that are most important for me and I think for you. Security, access to sites, speed. We will compare whether the developer statements match the real functionality, conduct small tests, and of course, in addition to this, we will talk about interface, prices, additional features. Functionality On the left I can choose a location. In total there are 56 options, of which only 3 are free. Above there is an option Optimal Connection, and this is the option I am going to use. The Special tab contains paid connection options thanks to which you can use certain popular internet resources, among them are Netflix, YouTube TV, Slink TV and others. Around 30-40 of VPN services failed to adapt to Netflix active blocking when it started to recognize VPN connection in 2016. Turbo VPN coped with this task. But in the free version I will not be able to fully enjoy open borders, only that sites that do not recognize VPN are available to me. At the top, you can create your own account, check the internet speed, we will do this later, purchase a premium subscription, and if you still purchase it, you will be interested in the settings section. A premium user can change their protocol here, open VPN, Vitaray, IKV2, SSR, not bad, they are some of the most secure and popular protocols on the market. Turn on the kill switch so as not to reveal your real IP address in case of VPN interruption and secure Wi-Fi by auto-connecting to optimal location when your device connects to a secure network and use split tunneling. An ordinary user can only select one of four languages, enable auto-connection and auto-launch of the application, lead a review, lead the privacy policy and usage policy. My honest opinion, at this point I would no longer use TurboVPN as a free VPN, at least due to the fact that there is no emergency shutdown. One second of connection interruption is enough for my real address to be revealed. This means there could not be online security ensured despite the use of 256-bit military-grade IS encryption. You can solve the problem only if you purchase the premium version. But this is not all. The app's website states, we do not track or collect any information such as personal data, browsing history, traffic direction, etc. I decided to read the fine print, so to speak, namely the privacy policy. Indeed, TurboVPN does not collect names, addresses, phone numbers, payment details, online activities such as site visited, sessions, DNS wires, IP addresses, etc. In contrast, they do collect certain data that is a mail address and, in case of direct communication, phone number, content of message and or attachments, user version of Turbo VPN, connection type and details, amount of data transferred, data for network diagnosis. And what is more important, Turbo VPN's privacy policy doesn't even try to hide the fact that data can be transferred. In the list of those, vendors and service providers, partners, government, any potential accurate successor or assignee as a part of any proposed merger, etc. Sounds unsafe. Given such a privacy policy, I wouldn't even buy the paid version as appreciate security and anonymity, even despite the 256-bit encryption and Wi-Fi protection. For the same price, I can easily find much better VPN clients. Performance tests. But let's say that security is still your least concern. You just want to open sites that are not available in your region and enjoy the high speed of the internet. And what about speed? Of course, any VPN slows down your speed. Usually, users are ready to put up with this since the difference does not exceed 10-20%. My original upload and download speed prior to TurboVPN was 
and after connecting to the optimal location within the VPN speed was Pink before 97, after 100 Do lot before 206.47, after 21.10 Upload before 117.97 after 32.41. I think it's clear that the situation has deteriorated greatly. I rate the internet speed with the free turbo VPN connection as slow. But the developers proposes to fix this problem. To do this, you need to buy a paid version and the speed will be increased. The second test – DNS leak test. I've chosen the extended mode that performs 6 query rounds and there are no DNS leak. The next test that is also important for me is GeoTest. The result is satisfying. The only location visible is the one used in TurboVPN. IP test – pass. None of the chosen location leaked the real IP address. The fifth test – real-time communication. Each server scopes without any problem. And the final test – blacklist status to see whether my fake IP address provided by TurboVPN are blacklisted anywhere. My result – about 10% databases blacklist the IP address. Overall, I evaluate these results for TurboVPN as a satisfactory. Pricing – TurboVPN is not cheap. The two-year plan is $287.76. The yearly plan is $143.88, the half-year plan is $71.94, and the one-month plan is $11.99. There is also a 30-day money-back warranty. And in general, yes, TurboVPN is really interesting application that gives you access to 22,000 plus servers in the paid version, emergency shutdown, split tunneling, protocol selection, Wi-Fi protection and ability to connect up to 5 devices. But the safety point is still lacking. For this reason alone, I would not purchase a subscription. After all, for this money you can find a VPN with similar capabilities and with full data protection. For example, ExpressVPN. More functionality can be found in KiberGhost and Surfshark. By the way, a little hack. I contacted support asking if I can get a trial period of the Pro version. After 5 minutes I received a response. Yes, you may start a free trial before paying on the Apple or Play Store. On Windows you can't do it directly, but you can start the trial on an iOS or Android device, and then you can use the same trial on Windows. So friends, enjoy! You have the opportunity to evaluate it and see if you need a paid subscription. So do I recommend TurboVPN? More likely, no than yes. Among the pros, access of any device, there is a brief version, a 3-day trial, refund possible within 30 days, simple interface, 256-bit protection, in the paid version, of course, the ability to change the protocol, emergency shutdown function, Wi-Fi protection, split tunneling, large number of servers, access to sites that recognize VPN. Cons – limited functionality of the free version, high price, you cannot connect a trial 3-day period via PC. The possibility of distributing personal data of users in both paid and free versions and low speed. It all depends on your requirements. Why do you need a VPN? But personally, I would not use a Turbo VPN, the free version of it to be exact. The inability to access some website due to location, unsecured Wi-Fi, the lack of emergency shutdown – all this makes the application semi-meaningless. Well, that concludes our video. I hope this video was helpful for you. If yes, don't forget to like. I also look forward to your comments on the VPN you use and see you soon.